right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, we got a jam-packed day of news for y'all today, man. Man, listen, man, we got the people from the chat making news. We got everybody else making news. Listen, man, if you want to be a newsmaker or something like that, and you want to help your boy out, because, you know, it's, it's starting to get a little stagnant with the news and stuff like that. Before we get to that point, I want you guys to hit me up on Twitter with anything you see. You see something, say something. You see it on Twitter, you see it on uh, Instagram, anything. Send the links to me on Twitter. You see somebody say something, you think it'll make an interesting news story, send it to me, man. Uh, I'll see it. I'll notice it. I might actually put it in a video because this video right here is comprised mostly of what you guys have sent to me. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all hit me up with those tweets and stuff like that. You might see yourself in the video. And, uh... Also, like the video because every time you like the video, it helps us get closer to that also coveted 100K. And without further ado, let's get the video underway. First things first, I pop it, freaks all the honeys. Check it out, man. I got to get my hater blockers on real quick, man. Hold on. Let me see what mask we're going to use today, bro. Got to put the hater blockers on. Maybe this right here. This is what I need right here, man. Because uh, I'm a bozo, apparently, or whatever. Like, okay. So, Abby Einstein, he tweeted us with this, man. I don't know. If this is something, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. There we go. All right, check it out. He tweeted us with this. I don't know if he was talking about us or he's just talking about he's tired of going through this, but we just gonna go through it real quick at any rate. It just says, Jay-Z and Brutal Sims, wanna be comp team spent money for a bill to stand in the corner the whole game to beat casuals in wreck. Now, I, I don't know if he's saying that that's what we are, or if he's saying that he's tired of going against that. But I'm gonna assume that you're tired of going against that. If you are tired of going against that, please join the Brute Squad Discord. You can play with us. Join the uh, uh, the All City Live TV Discord. Join the uh, the uh, Brick Squad. I don't even know where we are right now, man. The uh, Rack Nation Discord. All those Discord links will be down in the description. Join those Discords. There's always people that'll be played with, that are looking for people to play with, and there's always people there that uh, that don't have anybody to play with, and we're always looking for somebody to play with. You can come through, run with us. You don't have to be on the wrong end of that whipping. None of this stuff. All you gotta do, come through, play with your boys, and uh, you know what I'm talking about. And, and we got you, like, shoot, I, I don't know about the whole standing in the corner part. I guard ball everybody else play uh, and stuff like that too, but like, I feel like sometimes the most efficient way to play this game is for one person to handle the ball. There's just not enough court for everybody to do all that moving and motion and stuff, especially when you don't have any chemistry with the people that you're playing with. So, you know, it is what it is, man. So I'm gonna take the bag off my head right now and say, hey, listen, if you're playing by yourself and you're getting whooped, Come join one of those three discords. I promise you, you're going to find some people to play with and you're going to be able to win some games and you won't feel this way for much longer. Now, if you don't want to join the discords and play with people and stuff like that, I totally understand that that's fine too. But you just can't complain when you keep getting that whooped. That's all I'm saying. So, you know, we got a solution for you. You don't have to go at this alone. You, you know what I'm saying? You got that thing, man. Come on through. Uh, join them discords. And uh, we always looking for people every day. We'll be looking for somebody to play with today. You just, just hit us up. Once you see the stream go live or if you're already in the Discord, Gambit always puts the uh, link out say, hey, who trying to run? If you're trying to run, you're trying to run. Anyway, up next, man, you got your boy Laker fan saying something. Man, am, am I hitting the wrong button? I am hitting the wrong. Listen, I got some new stuff. I got some new uh, some new buttons and stuff, and my, my muscle memory is still on that stuff, man, so it is what it is. Anyway, Laker fan says, I don't see, I don't see what the changed about 2k22 from the first week to now aside from the plucks and steals sure the meta bills uh the meta bills hadn't been found but legitimately what what has changed about gameplay aside from steals and um you know some people say now the meta i feel like the steals being changed is what birthed the meta but you know it is what it is uh, one person says they patch steals uh they touch shooting movement and then buff contact dunks um contact dunks with the with the regular shooting button they definitely did that the game literally feels like 2k21 next gen uh with better dribbling i ain't gonna say it feels like that because we still get a lot of stops at the rim but you're right there ain't no patent defense uh literally whites go in and it, it whites go in and harder to green a uh, a lot easier to rim run and uh, you can hit a lot of BS contested shots. Now, yep, we, you're definitely right about that. We got some stuff talking about that. Uh, shooting the movement feels different. Uh, the patch happened. 
uh, right before season two and ruined the game for me. Uh, one person says they always they always uh, about defense as if they as if they don't have an offensive heavy bill. That that's 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 true. But a lot of people got defensive bills and you still can't really play no defense like you want to. And uh, limitless badges were buffed slash fixed. A lot of stuff like that. I mean, they're, they're right about a lot of this stuff, man. A lot of this stuff did happen. Um, but I think that they definitely nerfed uh, the chase downs and the blocks around the rims, so you can't really go get the shots like you like we were in the beginning. And uh, like I said, the steals, I feel like the steals are what birthed the other bills because when they when they took those steals away, you, you, it was now possible to dribble into people's chest and dribble unintelligently, and then that's what really birthed the left right. In the beginning, if I knew you was going left and I knew you was gonna come back to me, I could stand here, and if you ran back into my chest, I was taking the ball. So like like that that that's something that I do miss. And then they nerfed the steals again, and they nerfed it again again. So, uh, yeah, that that's that. It's a lot of stuff that happened, man. A lot of changes that happened, and I'm glad that he's looking at it like that because a lot of times we be sitting there grinding with our head down, and we just accept what the game gives us as content creators. That's what we do. Like y'all think that we just complain. A lot of times we just adjust. We just play the game, adjust to keep on playing and stuff like that, man. And, and and it just be like, hey, whatever it is is whatever it is, man. We just gonna play it out and do it like that. But sometimes, you know, we do what we do notice that is very game changing. We do go ahead and make that make that. But y'all, let me know what else uh, has changed uh, in the comment section, man, because I don't I don't really know. Um, I mean, like I said, I think they covered just about everything, but I, maybe there's some other stuff uh, that 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 happened, man. Now we got to put our hater mask on, man. We got to put the hater blockers on. Listen, man, my boy El Cavro Viejo, he says, man, he got this right. He says, how do you tell me? I mean, how do you tell them respectfully? Respectfully, my playboy. Uh, listen, watch the whole clip. I'm 6'10", 7'4", wingspan, 95 interior, 92 block. 92 rebound, gold uh, rim protector, and intimidator, rebound chase on Hall of Fame, and uh, Hall of Fame paint, uh, you know, intimidator takeover, or whatever y'all want to call it. And this is something that is allowed to happen. Should we go full screen with it? I don't be liking to go full screen with these videos sometimes, man, because because sometimes when you go full screen, it don't really do it right. But we're going to do it right here, like, like this right here. Let's just take a look. So. Y'all love calling out them offensive badges. Look at that. Boom. Offensive player gets the rebound. That's only been happening in 2K for the last uh, 30 years. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, what else we got? What else we got? All right. He comes over here, takes a horrible shot, and gets his own rebound. Okay. That's cool. Block the shot. He can't get the rebound. That goes straight to the dude. I halfway understand that one. And then go straight to the rim. Right on his head. Come on, son. Come on, son. And then he said, watch all the way to the end, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to watch all the way to the end. Obviously, you know, T just mix this guy up, go down, get a three ball. Yeah, person. All right. So, he get, you know what I'm saying? He get that get that going right there, man. Hey, I know y'all like me right here, man. Let me, let me move myself. I'm going to move myself a little bit to the side right here. And then here we go again. Playing good defense, good defense. He just goes and... Bruh. And so, more or less, what he's trying to say is... At this point, like when stuff like this happens, bro, when stuff like this is happening, what is the, because everybody love calling out them two, them two weak ass uh, stats. Oh man, he got Hall of Fame blinders and he got, uh, he got, uh, uh, dead eye. That's what that is. But bro, when stuff like this is happening, when we got some, what he's saying is we got some defensive stats too, bro. We got some defensive badges too now. I got 30 defensive badges, not like you got, but those two, those two right there supposed to take over there. That. That's something that's been happening since 2K started, though, man. I don't understand why it's in the game. I don't understand why when a player blocks a shot or when a player uh, do, really does anything, the offensive player is always in better position to get the board or any of that stuff, man. Now, on regular shots, maybe not so much, but in that clip, man, you just saw the offensive player get the board two or three times and get several shots at the rim and they play good defense but they don't even let like when the offensive player gets sucked in to, to grab the ball it's like 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 your guy doesn't even react and it's just terrible man i don't even understand it i, I have not understood it since the last you know i've never understood it in in all of the 2ks that have come out why the offensive player gets the ball way more often 
than the defensive player. The block, I could understand, because I know somebody gonna highlight, they went, well, on the block, he should have got it. Man, shut the <laughs> I mean, nah, I'm just joking. Listen, on the block, yeah, he should have got that one. That's cool, he blocked it straight to him, but the other ones, that's the block shouldn't have even happened. None of that should have even happened because they should have got the board, especially when the dude took the terrible shot and Twin was in perfect, perfect, uh, perfect. First of all, if that was the real Twin, he would have got the rebound, but that was the fake. But anyway, uh, like, like, it, Twin was in perfect position to get the rebound and the dude sprints, he, the dude that took the shot sprints in and gets the board, bro, like stuff like that. It always happens in 2K, man, but you know, hey, it is what it is, man. We gonna, we gonna see. I, I, I really don't know what to tell y'all definitely. Y'all let me know down in the comment section is that acceptable or, or is it or is it not? Oh uh, up next man we got somebody saying What the what is that? I'm probably gonna hit him with this one right here, man. Oh dang, can't see it right there. Alright, maybe if I make it big screen, it'll be a little bit better. But let's just check it out what happened. Come down. He hits a wide. Oh, let me see. Alright, so he hits a wide open three. Boom, boom. Come down court, and here we go. If I change this one, would it be better? Nope, won't be better. He takes an egregious shot. Look at this. Look at it. The shot is so bad that he folds over, and a lot of people can be like, well, he wasn't there defensively, but the game says he's there defensively because he's folding over. Like, that's all we got to go by, man. Like, a lot of times we be like, well, the game, well, you know, this, this, and that. But, bro, if the game say he's there defensively, then he's there defensively. Another, another we got we got some other stuff, man. You know, somebody say, what is, what is this right here? Uh, you know, he comes down, comes down. I might, I might actually start doing it like this for real, though, so y'all can see it a little bit, a little bit better. But right here, let, let's try this right here. No, no, let's just make it like that. Bam. All right, check it out, bro. Come down, takes the shot. Now, y'all not gonna see him take the shot, but look, he takes the shot, boom, bounces up, goes around, back, forward, back, forward, and bam, it falls in. God, dog, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Hey, man. Hey, man, say, man. Listen, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of chicanery going on in this game, man. They, they sent me some stuff. And, and 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 it's just going on. My boy Thunder even got one for me saying says, look, this is everything wrong with the game in one in one step, man. The dude came through Metal Curry slide, pull up, drank, headshot, drank. All right, okay, he takes that shot, and then more or less they get booted. Not just booted, but all the way back to the title screen. And it's just like he says, a metal slide, curry slip. Don't want to pass the winning despite, and then boom, booted offline. You can't make this stuff up, and you really can't make this stuff up, man. This is stuff that happens in 2K every day, man. But you know, it is what it is. It's just one of those things that we are forced to endure, and, and we gonna keep pushing through it. But you know, it is what it is. Up next, we got my boy Coyote. He wanna tell y'all something, man. Hey, listen, man. Like I said, if y'all wanna, y'all try to make the news and help me make the news, man. Y'all help me out today, man. Listen, listen, this is Coyote. All right, all right, hold on. Hold on. Smart. The interception okay. Take me. Put me on one end of the court by myself. Okay. Okay. Directly under the basket. Okay. Directly under the rim. Take all four of my teammates. Now, I'm only talking about Rick. All right. Four Take all four of my teammates. Put them at the opposite end of the court. Directly under the basket. Imagine. Okay. Okay. I see where you're going with it. Now take the five defenders, put them directly on the half court line, spread them out. Tell them to spam the square. Constantly. Doesn't matter. Let's say give them unlimited stack. Spam square. Do you know out of a hundred passes hmm. in real life, you would throw the ball over? Yes, you throw it over half course, you'd never get it. Okay, they're about 40, 50 feet away. But do you know out of in this game? Out of a hundred passes, I guarantee you 20 or 30 of them are gonna make your passer throw a dumbass pass straight to you. You know how many passes I've seen in this game or somebody, you know how strong you gotta be to throw a straight pass from one end of the rim to the other? You talking about man, I got no bullet pass on Hall of Fame, man. Nobody would ever throw a straight pass if it was a half-court pass attempt. That is absolutely true, and uh 
I'm, I, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take you up on that one, uh, Coyote. I'm gonna try that out. I'm going into um, what am I gonna go into? I'm gonna go into the wreck or into the Gatorade facility, and we're gonna get some people and stand them at half court. I'm gonna stand at one end, they're gonna stand at the other end, and I'm gonna throw a pass, and we're gonna see if they're gonna keep making me throw the dumb pass. Because, like you said in real life, nobody's gonna do that. You just lob it over everybody's head, and that's an easy bucket at the other end, or what have you, like that. You don't even have to throw a perfect pass, you just gotta throw it over their head, and you're good to go. Maybe, maybe five or ten of them you would throw badly and they would be able to get but i want to see really in 2k how many are they going to be able to get that might be my background video for tomorrow we're going to see if the interception technology or the interception intelligence is just over overpowered man up next man hey listen man this is something right here that i wanted this is davion baker man he sent me he sent something bro I, i'm not gonna lie to y'all it was very well put together uh very well voiced and all of that good stuff he sent it on voice and uh you know i just want y'all to hear what he's saying if y'all got stuff like this i love stuff like this man this is awesome content and it's great stuff for me to go over so if y'all got stuff like this make sure y'all do this too man but let's just listen to this brother talk man. mike i get it you're the developer probably got a lot on your mind probably got a lot of things to do trying to save and, and support and help everybody and sometimes you fall flat sometimes you get it right but what I don't understand is if you're making changes to the game on either side of the ball mm -hmm. why not let us know in a tweet why not update us and say hey we made some adjustments to this badge we nerfed this badge I get on the game for the past two days I noticed that my chase down badge is not working That's as well fact. as it was last week. Last That's week, just last week, November 11th, I was getting multiple chase down blocks, averaging probably two or three a game, maybe even, maybe even four on a good day. But now this week, I don't get a chase down badge at all, and my animations are changed. I don't understand. And if you change it, it's cool. Just let me know. Let us know. And I think that's why the community is so upset with you guys is because you do stuff without letting us know. You don't be transparent about it. You just go behind our backs and we support you and we rock with you all the time. And what we get is, a, oh, we're going to fix it and you don't fix it or we're trying to do it, but you don't do it. Or we didn't make no other changes, but you actually did. Exactly. And I think people are just frustrated and tired of the lack of transparency just keep it a bean and call it a spade a spade be 100 if you did it have some balls about it and say yeah we did it mm. we felt it was overpowering so we changed it exactly. okay we still may be mad but we gotta respect that so from here on out please please mike if you're gonna fix something if you're gonna change something if you're gonna nerf something just tell us tell us that's all i'm asking just tell me bro just tell me don't have me like tripping like, did they change something? They did. That's crazy. They ain't even say nothing. Don't be that way. We support you through the good and the bad, man. So all we ask is for the same respect and the same love. I get it. You're gonna make money regardless. But don't 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 go and be this company because if another game comes out, I promise you, the quicker you have it, the quicker you can lose it all, bro, bro. Trust me. So please just be real with us. Be 100 with us. Come on. And that's something, like I said, man, that is so well thought out, so well said, so every well, everything, man. Y'all got stuff like that y'all want on the show, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit your boy up, man, because stuff like that is dope, man. I'm not going to lie. And like he said, the faster that you have it, the faster you can lose it all because we've seen it happen with live. We saw it happen with NBA Live. It just is what it is, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. We saw it. Live had it all. They was doing everything. And then boom, boom, bam. It's just over with, man. So, you know what I'm saying? And then they, like I said, from what we're hearing, uh, like my Brian Mazik said, shoot, they might not even be coming back. So, you know what I'm saying? You was on top, and then now, now they're not on top. Last but not least, man, we got your boy. We got uh, a, a my boy Mo Trizzy said, man, put this in the video, man. The rep system on 22 is fine. Nobody, had, nobody has ever cared about the rep as long as your win percentage was high enough. Uh, that's the only thing that uh, that's ever mattered. I 
played plenty of trash legends before. That's, that's a fact, bro, but let me tell you one thing, though. I don't even care about your win percentage. Can you hit an open shot, and can you play defense? That's all I play about, because I know a lot of people out there play with randoms and stuff like that, man, so you know, it just happens. It is what it is. And last last but not least, man, let me show y'all this right here. And my mother said, is this top 10? Look at him coming down court. Ooh, shake down. Break down, come on. Oh, you gonna cut the trip. You gonna cut the clip. Boy, you think we don't know that he tricked that shot off in the cut? Look at that. I know he tricked that off. If he ain't tricked it off, then you would have let us see what happened on that. That's a great shakedown. I ain't gonna lie to you. But you gotta put that in there. Your boy gotta complete the clip. I know he tricked that thing off in the corner. Y'all let me know if y'all think he tricked it off in the corner or, or whatever, man. I know he tricked that shot off in the corner because if it was green, he would have made it be like that. He need to be sitting up there with the bag over his head. This need to be your partner right here. He need to be looking like this with the bag over his head because I know he tricked that shot off. You can't convince me otherwise that he tricked that. <laughs> anyway, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the show, man. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Um, like I said, we got a we got a lot of lot of stuff, um, a lot of stuff on tomorrow and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, like y'all really made the show today, and uh, and I really appreciate y'all when y'all send this stuff in and uh, you know, hit your boy up with stuff like that. You know, dang on well, he tricked that shot off. I gotta put that right there, right there in the white ground, man. He tricked it off, but anyway. Um, y'all really make the show and I appreciate y'all watching it when y'all watch these long episodes and stuff like that I don't mean to make them that long. They just end up going that long because we have so much dope content to put in the, in the, put in the, put in the videos, man It is what it is, but let me know what y'all think man. Um, I just feel like I just enjoy doing these videos Keep sending me the news keep sending me everything and uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time man till next time It's your boy Jay Easy aka fresh from the barbershop BK the people's champ Guys, speak.